Hello, this is Laton. I've got a cow. My mayor villa. A friend of mine who goes by the name of Mini Miner Man is building his little abode over there. I've got three empty lots. I've got my marketplace and my store. And eventually, Victrix 3 is going to be over in that corner. I'm going to show you how to set up stores. It's really simple. What you do is you get into one corner of your store, preferably at the lowest point that you can, and you do a create store command. Now you're going to go to the uppermost corner, uppermost opposite corner that you can. And as you can see, I put a ladder on top of mine so that I can come up it. And then I'm going to get into the middle of this square here, this block. And now I'm going to issue the finish store command. And this is going to be called market 73. Now, I can come here. And I am in the store. The beauty of it is, let me come down. Whoops, I got turned around a little bit. I got a little bit of lag here. I can come in here and do store. I'm back in the store. So this way you can have your store set up and you can have multiple levels if you want to do them all or whatever. Um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what people come up with. And I've got mine set up with some benches so that when 4 point or 0 0.4 mine quest comes out, I can add the NPCs back behind here. And then all I have to do now is make sure that this is in the store, which it is. Let's make sure this side is in the store. Perfect. I now have my store set up. Now, one thing I am having issues with is adding items to my stores. Um, I can issue the add block. I want it to be called tent. And then I say that it's going to be 500. Actually, you know what? Let's make it a little pricier. Two, three, one, two, three, one million cubes and it's going to be the block number 19. Now the reason why I'm making it expensive is because this block allows you to create a tent. I don't know if I've ever shown you the other plugin that I'm running but it's called tent this and it is wonderful. So now we do a store and it says that I have zero tents. I have, that's the problem I'm having. I haven't figured out how to add in a quantity through the web, the site. So what I'm going to do, and you're only going to see a portion of this, but I'm going to come into my, sto my store in the PHP My Admin. Let me minimize this and get it a little over so you can see what I'm doing. Shrink it down some. Alrighty. That's as good as we're going to get with this reduced frame size. So what I do is I come and I look and right here is my market 3. I open it up and right here you can see that it says I have an item ID number 19 which is a sponge, 1 million cubes, zero quantity and it's a tent. If I go in here and I edit that and I say 10 for quantity and then I tell it to save it. It tells me that it's affected one row and that it's updated. We go back into the market 73 and sure enough there's 10 there. So now we can come back into MineQuest, do a store. It's still saying zero. Now what I'll have to do is then reset, restart the server and then this store will be fully functional with everything that I add into it. 
Um, I can go in and add glass, um, water blocks, which I might do simply because, as you can tell, I'm putting in a garden. You know, just decorative things that, that people may want um, are things that I'll probably put into the, the stores. The, this marketplace is going to have, um, you know, a lot of knickknacks, uh, different things in it, probably uh, some foods and items of that nature. Now, the reason why I am so keen on having a sponge in there, let me find a nice flat spot. And this is a sort of a shameless plug for a different plug-in. Um, but I think once you see it, you're going to agree that it is a nice plug-in to have. Um, I need a relatively flat area. This might... This here might work. And I don't think so. Not big enough. Oh. I need a big flat area, so I'm going to have to do a little little bit of trickery here. Everybody likes a flat beach, right? So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna kinda oh, I don't know. Take out maybe all of this. There we go. If I don't have enough room in here, then I don't have enough room, period. So I'll put down my sponge. And there is my tent. I right click on it. I have it set up that way so that it will automatically make it. And this is my sponge, or my tent. It is a castle, and I can come up here, I need to open the door, and you can see that I have a rather, rather shindiggity place. It's got two furnaces, it's got a couple uh, crafting blocks, two beds two large chests and a small chest in the middle there and of course it's got light blocks the light blocks are key if you decide to use tent this um, it allows you to uh, have your light without losing it because the torches will pop off when you destroy your tent and you'll have to read up on the tent this um, documentation on how to set your destruction block and all that so that's uh that's all we're going to cover this time um i'll show you how to add an item how to create your store the best way to create your store and uh, the reason why i wanted sponges in there so this is Latan, and i will talk to you later see you next time